Like a lot of things in crypto, staking can be a complicated or simple concept, depending on how many levels of understanding you want to unlock. For many traders and investors, the most important thing to know is that staking is a way to get paid for holding certain cryptocurrencies. But even if you just want to get some staking rewards, it's helpful to know at least a little bit about how and why it works the way it does. But before we start our video, please subscribe our channel and also press the bell button. How does staking work? If the cryptocurrency you own supports staking, like Tezos, Cosmos, or now Ethereum, with the new ETH2 upgrade, you can stake some of your holdings and earn a percentage rate reward over time. This is usually done through a staking pool, which you can think of as a savings account that pays interest. When you stake your cryptocurrency, it earns rewards because the blockchain puts it to work. Proof of stake is a consensus mechanism that cryptocurrencies that allow staking use to make sure that all transactions are verified and safe without a bank or payment processor in the middle. If you choose to stake your crypto, it will be a part of this process. Why do only some cryptocurrencies have staking? Here, things start to get more complicated. For example, Bitcoin doesn't let you stake. To know why, you need to know a little bit of history. Most cryptocurrencies are decentralized, which means that there is no one person or group in charge. So how do all the computers in a decentralized network find the right answer without getting it from a central authority like a bank or credit card company? A consensus mechanism is what they use. Proof of work is a way to reach a consensus that is used by many cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin and Ethereum 1.0. Through proof of work, the network uses a lot of processing power to solve problems like confirming transactions between strangers on opposite sides of the world and making sure no one tries to spend the same money twice. Part of the process is that miners from all over the world compete to solve a cryptographic puzzle first. The winner gets to add the most recent block of verified transactions to the blockchain, and in exchange, they get some cryptocurrency. Proof of work is a scalable solution for a relatively simple blockchain like Bitcoin's, which works a lot like a bank's ledger by keeping track of transactions coming in and going out. But when there's too much activity, proof of work can slow down something more complicated like Ethereum, which has a lot of different uses, like the whole world of DeFi running on top of the blockchain. Because of this, it can take longer to make a transaction, and fees can be higher. What is proof of stake? Proof of stake is a newer way to reach a consensus. Its goal is to improve speed and efficiency while lowering fees. One of the main ways. Proof of stake cuts costs is by not making all those minor solve math problems, which takes a lot of energy. Instead, transactions are verified by people who stake their money on the blockchain. Staking is like mining in that it's how a network participant is chosen to add the latest set of transactions to the blockchain and earn some cryptocurrency in exchange. Different projects have different ways of doing things, but in general, users risk their tokens to add a new block to the blockchain in exchange for a reward. Their stake tokens make sure that any new transaction they add to the blockchain is legitimate. Validators, as they're usually called, are chosen by the network based on the size of their stake and how long they've held it. So the people who put in the most effort are rewarded. When transactions in a new block are found to be invalid, the network can burn a certain amount of a user's stake. This is called a slashing event. Coins you can stake. Most cryptocurrencies can be bet on, but not all of them. For example, DeChico says that you can bet on 7 of the 10 most popular coins right now. Here are some examples. Ethereum, until now, Ethereum used a PAL system. Now, it is switching to a POS system. To stake Ethereum on your own, you'll need at least 32 ETH to become a validator. Once you're a validator, the Ethereum site says you'll be in charge of storing data, processing transactions, and adding new blocks to the blockchain. Cardano Investors can also send ADA, the currency of the Cardano network, to staking pools to get rewards. Cardano users can even set up their own staking pools, as long as they know how to set one up and run it. Solana Solana, or Sol, can also be staked or given to a staking pool, as long as an investor has a digital wallet that supports it. From there, all you have to do is choose a validator and decide how much you want to bet. What are the advantages of staking? Many long-term crypto holders see staking as a way to make their assets work for them instead of just sitting in their crypto wallets and collecting dust. A side benefit of staking is that it helps make the blockchain projects you support more secure and efficient. By staking some of your money, you make the blockchain more resistant to attacks and improve its ability to handle transactions. 
Some projects also give governance tokens to people who stake, which give them a say in how the protocol changes and improves in the future. Risks of staking As with any kind of investment, there are risks when you stake. Even though you probably won't lose all of your money in one day, as can happen with some stocks, there are some things you should know before you start staking. Crypto is a risky bet. First of all, cryptocurrency is a risky investment, so its price often goes up and down. Because of how volatile crypto is and how it affects prices, you may have to change your strategy every day. This is something to keep in mind. There are locked down times. When you stake, you lock up your money for a certain amount of time. If you lock up your holdings for months, or years, you won't be able to use them for a while. Also, once you stake your holdings, you might not be able to take them back. Watch out for slashing. If you set up and configure your own node and stake outside of an exchange, you could make a mistake and get fined. This is called slashing, and it is done to validators who aren't doing their jobs well or who aren't being honest, says Welch. What happened? A penalty can be taken from some of the money. There will be costs. Yes, there are costs when you stake, especially if you do it through an exchange. The fees are different for each exchange, but Welch says they are usually a certain percentage of a staker's winnings. How do I start staking? Most of the time, anyone can stake if they want to. Still, becoming a full validator can require a large minimum investment. ETH2 requires a minimum of 32 ETH, technical knowledge, and a dedicated computer that can do validations day and night without stopping. Participating on this level comes with security concerns and is a big deal, since a validator's stake can be cut in half if the network goes down. But the vast majority of people who want to take part can do it in a much easier way. You can put in as much as you can afford to a staking pool through an exchange like Coinbase. This makes it easier for people to start investing, since they don't have to run their own validator hardware. Most Coinbase customers in the US and in many other countries can stake. In conclusion. Staking is a way for crypto investors to put their holdings to work and earn rewards and interest on them. Plus, it can get you involved in the governance and validation of blockchain networks, which may be interesting to some investors. It might help to think of staking as owning a stock and getting dividends or even putting money in a bank account and getting interest. It can be a low-effort way to grow your account, but you should do your research and understand the risks before you start. That's all we have for today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Subscribe our channel for more crypto related videos. And press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.